Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are going to be reviewing three Eucerin sunscreen products that I have never tried before. And you guys know that I am an absolute Eucerin sunscreen fan. I love their oil control SPF 50 and I also love their pigment control SPF 50 as well. But these three products here, um, I, yeah, I've been so super super eager to try them out and really excited to share my thoughts and my reviews on them with you today. We do have kind of like a different range of sunscreen approaches as well. So the first one we have is the Sun Fluid Mattifying SPF 50 Plus. So this kind of takes on the approach of being a lot more designed for oily to combination skin types, more mattifying texture um, and finish on the skin and definitely kind of has that more fluid approach. We also have the pigment control but in the tinted version. So yes, I do absolutely love the pigment control one but I've been trying out the tinted version, which um, definitely is an experience, uh, but is it a new holy grail? Is it that no makeup makeup product? We'll soon find out. And then finally, we have got the SPF 100, which is actually called Actinic Control MD. So this is actually a medical grade SPF um, that really helps to prevent the sort of the formation of act actinic keratosis. So yeah, today we have a broad range of using sunscreen products that all have different approaches. So I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you today. But the actinic control SPF 100 and also the sun fluid mattifying SPF were gifted by Essential, which is an online retailer um, that kind of you know have like such a vast curation of skincare and sun care products and um, this isn't an ad or anything like that but they do actually have a promotional offer on all Eucerin products and um, throughout the month of April so it's coming up towards the end of April now so definitely check the website out which I'll link in the description box down below but you can get one third off all Eucerin products and then with the code extra 10 you can get an extra 10% off but yeah this isn't an ad or anything like that but they do have that incredible saving and extra discount code which is you know I'm not affiliated to it or anything like that and um, just you know worth checking out if you want to save some dollar bills but first of all we're going to review the sun fluid mattifying spf 50 plus when you open it it actually looks very different to the pump or the tube style bottles that you can do and um, it's like that it's going to cute little kind of like chunky um, a bottle and they say to shake well before usage so it kind of goes like that you can hear that like little ball in there and uh, basically, it really reminds me of the La Roche-Posay Anvelios and also um, the, the Garnier Amber Solaire anti-dark spot, anti-pollution sun fluid. And what you should say on the side of the packaging for this product is the sun fluid mattifying sensitive protect SPF 50 plus helps protect sensitive and oily skin from sun induced skin damage and mattifies the skin. And when I first tried this product out, I was really, really excited. I thought, oh my goodness gracious me, this is a sunscreen product for me. It's lightweight, it's like watery, runny consistency. And it, you know, it's mattifying. It's gonna really help to control Control my combination skin. Um, yes, I am on tretinoin at the minute, and uh, you know my skin is leaning more towards the dry side. When I applied this on, the texture, the consistency, I was just absolutely obsessed with it. A very runny. Um, kind of, you know, really quite easy to apply, really blendable into the skin. However, what I noticed, like pretty much probably a few seconds or like 10 to 20 seconds working it into the skin, it actually started to sort of like pill and kind of, kind of feel quite greasy on the skin. So it was kind of like, yes, it was lightweight. It was, you know, quite thin in consistency, but it left kind of a greasy residue on the skin. And I thought, well, this is, this is a little bit concerning because this is supposed to be mattifying for my skin. It's not supposed to add that extra greasy layer that I kind of already have, especially in my T-zone area. So yeah, I was really kind of uh, disappointed by this product, to be honest with you. But yeah, it was just kind of like, oh God, this is pilling a little bit. This is kind of getting a bit uncomfortable on the skin. It wasn't stinging in um, or irritating my skin or, or anything like that. It just felt not very nice on the skin. However, saying that, after about two to two and a half hours after applying this sunscreen product, it did actually feel quite mattifying on the skin. 
I didn't feel greasy, I didn't really feel that heavy on the skin, but I still had that pillingness, like I was like still touching my skin and I could still feel it kind of like, you know, rolling around um, and sort of like flaking off and you know, it just, just wasn't nice. So in terms of being mattifying, yes, eventually it does get there, but um, I personally, it's just not on in the same league as the La Roche-Posay Enfelios or the Garnier Amber Solaire one. And so up next we have the Pigment Control SPF 50 in the tinted version. So you, this uses pretty much the same kind of technology, the same formulation as the ordinary pigment control version. Um, but of course this has the colour pigments in there. Just to kind of immediately and temporarily um, blur out and even the skin tone and just provide that coverage on the skin um, and kind of be that kind of like no makeup makeup look and this product is in the shade light but I actually didn't see any other shade in boots which was weird um, but yes I was really excited to try this product out because I'm really into my BB creams and CC creams and you know sort of exploring that kind of like no makeup makeup look um, and to have kind of like a tinted SPF version I thought oh brilliant you're killing two birds with one stone there but not killing because we don't like that so just like the normal pigment control product it comes in this pump style packaging and um, yeah I was just really really excited to try this out however wow you can see by the images on screen when I tried this product out I was like oh my god this is um this is quite a lot this is a lot um it just felt too heavy on the skin like it was too much of a thick coverage for my liking. I'm kind of, you know, all about that sort of like really thin, really sheer coverage on the skin. But yeah, this just felt really thick for me and really kind of like foundation-y like. And unfortunately, um, even though I clean shaven that day, it was still kind of clinging on to sort of my hair follicles and just kind of clumping in the areas that I just didn't want them to be clumping. I didn't want any clumping to be honest with you. Yes, it absolutely did immediately even at the skin tone. You can't see any pigmentation there. You can't see your freckles or or your blemish marks or anything like that. But yeah, I was just like, yeah, but look at look at look at my face. <laughs> and I thought to myself, what happens when you kind of, you know, go to 2 to 3 hours later and you put on another application of this? And I just thought this is not this is not what it is at all. Yeah, it's just such a shame because I wanted this to really be quite a thin sheer coverage on the skin, but it just didn't deliver. It was too thick for me. And I'm not really like a foundation person. Like I don't really wear foundation, um, or I've not really tried many foundation products out. So in terms of like this might actually be a really good coverage. It might be quite thin in terms of that. But for me personally, it's a not not what I expected whatsoever. It's just a shame really because I feel like that product could have really excelled and really been something incredible. Um, but yeah, it was too thick and it clumped and it just was felt really heavy on the skin. And then last but not least is the Actinic Control MD SPF 100. So this is basically a medical grade SPF, which actually comes with a information leaflet all about kind of like the usages of this, how to apply the product, um, you know, all the kind of like the medical information that is absolutely required when kind of having those, you know, medical terminology and, um, sort of the marketing if you if you get me. So yes, because it says it helps prevent actinic keratosis and non melanoma skin cancer, um it, it needs to be legally, it needs to be in there. But basically actinic keratosis is kind of like the formation of like dried it looks like dried skin cells or like scabs um that have been formed because of the chronic sun exposure, the long sun exposure that has really played havoc onto your skin. But yeah this is why you soon have created this sunscreen product because it really just helps to kind of work alongside other treatments of act actinic keratosis um, or even just you know help skin that's really prone to sunburning um, or kind of you know just you're just damaged from the UV rays more than sort of like the other average person. But this is just a great option anyway, regardless if you have actinic keratosis or you're really prone to sunburning or anything like that. It's just a great sort of high value SPF 
um, rating and a brilliant, brilliant product actually. So when I started applying this onto my skin, I thought, oh, this is, you know, this is going to be really quite thick. It's going to be really rich on the skin. But I was really expecting a white cast with this. I was expecting that kind of, you know, that old traditional sunscreen product that just just never faded away. It was just like putting white paint on your skin, basically. Uh, back in the olden days when you, you know, your parents used to slather you in uh, that those types of sun cream products on the beach. However, I was really, really pleasantly surprised that this blended in very, very well. It did take a little bit of work. However, it just blended so nicely into the skin and the finish was not greasy. It didn't feel heavy. It gave me a really nice subtle glow to the skin and it didn't irritate my skin, it didn't sort of, you know, burn or itch my skin, and I don't feel any irritation or stinging around the eyes, on the eyelids, or anything like that. Like, this is actually a brilliant, brilliant sunscreen product. However, I did notice a slight clumpiness, especially around kind of like the eyebrows, and also kind of um, in sort of like places like that like it definitely did clump a little bit so yeah it clumped a little bit but not to the extreme of other sun cream products that I've tried before um, and it is not really noticeable only if you look really really closely and in terms of sunscreen filters this just absolutely packs an almighty punch it really delivers on that high protection factor against the UVA and also the UVB rays it's got the likes of avabenzone it's got homosalate it's got ethyl hexyl salicylate in there. It's got Uvenol A+, it's got Uvenol T150, it's got titanium dioxide in there. It's just loaded and loaded and loaded with sunscreen filters and it will protect your skin so, so much. But what I really do love about this product is in this information leaflet, you know, as you would expect, it's got how to apply. Can you see that? It's got how to apply the sunscreen, how much to apply, and when to apply it. And so in terms of ranking these Eucerin sunscreen products, um, I would definitely say this comes in bottom. It is the pigment control tinted in the shade light. The coverage was just too much for me, too thick, and the clumpiness, and just, yeah, it just didn't look good on my skin whatsoever. Um, I can appreciate, you know, SPF 50, but I just don't know how people can reapply this and reapply it throughout the day. Like, I just, I just don't understand it. Um, and then second, we have the Sun Fluid Mattifying SPF 50 Plus. This was, you know, the consistency, again, like I said, was really, really great. Definitely something that I look for in um, sunscreen products, but yeah, just the just like the feel, the greasy feel on the skin and also the pilling as well. And then definitely something that could potentially be a holy grail product for me in terms of use in sunscreens. So yeah, a use in sunscreen holy grail product potentially um, is the SPF 100 Actinic Control MD. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do let me know in the comments below. Have you tried any of these three products from Eucerin? Um, what are your thoughts? How did you find them? Or what is your favorite Eucerin sunscreen product? Is it the oil control one? Is it the pigment control one? Um, the normal one, not the tinted one. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon for a brand new video. See you later. Bye-bye.